All right, Schlagmeister fans. Another private screenings movie, although it's not quite the same, I don't think. Otherwise known as Prostituzione. It's an Italian film called Love Angels. Let's watch. Prostituzione. Now these are prostituziones, otherwise known as whores. Here one approaches the car. Ten thousand with the sheep. Follow me. Seems like a good deal. Now here's our prostitute uh, getting dressed. And then something happens. Bye, darling. And this dude is watching. Now pay close attention here. Because the next thing you know, that she's dead on the slab. These are the cops interviewing potential witnesses. Cops again. Okay, do pretty well, don't they? Ah. Uh, Giselle was what you may call a good girl. She was a student, third year of chemistry. And yet, we found her dead in the woods with a task girl. Apparently a fiancé. Somebody who's dead. How the devil did you get in here? Police homicide squad. Homicide squad? What happened? Are you a friend of Miss Giselle Rossi? Yeah, she's my fiancé. Why? He's been killed. He knows her. Maria she Fiore plays her. Primavera. She's our star. But please, Inspector, don't tell her that I gave you her name. Primavera? Mariale, do we know Primavera? Oh, maybe she's talking about Primavera. Hey, sexy hooker dance. This is Benedetta. Come on, I'll pay you well. Well. I told you I get caught easily. She wanted sex with a condom. I've had abortions. But then he refused. The doctor told me that the next time I'd have to go through with it. It may be dangerous. So after they finish, he invites his friends over, his motorcycle buddies, for seconds, sloppy seconds, thirds, and fourths. Just look at them. They can't live without me. They come to join the fun. They're not very nice to her. These girls are being paraded in like an auction of some sort. Motorcycle dudes again. I don't know, there's some sort of gang or something. I'm not sure how that happened or why. But now they're going to beat up one of them. I'm guessing these are different motorcycle guys than the guys we saw before, except for this guy, of course. Because that's where they're beating the crap out of them. Well, they grab a bottle. And you can guess what they do. Husband is very jealous. No, no. That's not it. But you see, Mrs. North, I've always had a morbid curiosity to see what other couples do together. 
and it's not so easy. I've solved much more difficult problems. Then we get this weird fantasy sequence where she's talking about some sort of conquest she had. I think there's a couple here, a threesome. This is how it was filmed, so this is how it looks. This chick's gonna give it away for free. You're gonna love it. You'll see. Well, what do you say? You want to make love to me, don't you? You like to be undressed, don't you? But he's a little inexperienced. No. You aren't scared of a disease. You've never been with a woman. You're a virgin. No, it's not true. But you're not the first. I've had lots of women. Lots! Lots of women! Lots of women! Do you hear me? Lots of women! Uh. The music box they saw earlier. Yes. He knows who did it. He's the guy who saw the beginning watching it. See the story played out. So the cops calling him to come out after he's making love to the you chick. Here, you bitch. Bitch. I didn't. I didn't. They won't get me. They won't get me, the bastards. Well, he runs off and then a uh, shootout. He actually doesn't get killed, though. He just gets arrested. Father Lowe will deal with you. Our film ends with our woman walking down the street, still street walking, and she just sits down, basically saying, the prostitute's the only life continues. All right, let's talk about Love Angels. It's an Italian film, I believe Italian, uh, under the title Prostituzione. I'm not sure why this has never been released on DVD here or there or anywhere, but it was released on VHS by private screenings in the late 80s under this title, Love Angels. So um, this is not a typical private screenings movie. Um, this is more of a, a drama or a action, I don't even call it that, a thriller. I guess we'll call it a thriller. Um, it's kind of hard to follow the plot a little bit, but it's basically we have prostitutes working somewhere in Italy. I think it was Italy. Maybe it was Spain. I don't know. Who cares? It um, doesn't matter. But anyway, we have prostitutes working, and um, there's a killer on the loose, and he's killing prostitutes. We only see a couple people die, actually, though. And then um, 
man, from there on, I don't know, there was some weird stuff going on. There was this motorcycle group that basically gang raped this one woman. And then uh, I thought it was the same motorcycle guys, but I guess it wasn't. Some other motorcycle guys uh, attacked one of the original motorcycle guys and rammed a bottle up his butt as revenge for uh, what he did to Benedetta, I think was her name. And then um, ultimately, it's basically a sleuth. We have the cops trying to search for the killer, uh, this hooker killer. And the very beginning, we saw the hooker get killed. She got like choked or something or stabbed. Um, stabbed, I think it was. And then there was like this priest looking guy, like peeking around the bushes and the trees. And he watched the whole thing happen. Um, I don't know what he was there in the first place. Was he a pervert just watching people have sex, a hooker have sex? I don't know. But anyway, eventually the cops track him down and he, he forced him to uh, admit to what he saw. And then they track down the killer who was with this other woman. And then he escapes out the door. They're like, come on out with your hands up, that sort of thing. But he escapes out. And there's a shootout uh, between the cops and him. And uh, you suspect the guy's going to get killed. But somehow he doesn't get killed. They end up capturing him and arresting him, which is very odd for a movie like this. And then the last scene in the movie, we see a hooker walking down the street, street walking and then she just stops and hangs out by this fire that she built. That's it. I don't know. I didn't care a whole lot about this movie. Um, there wasn't enough nudity in it, for one thing, to satisfy me, because it really didn't have much more going for it than that, to be honest with you. I didn't really care for it. Was this a Jallo movie? I don't know. It didn't seem like it was, really. Um, a couple of nude scenes in it, but not a whole lot. Yeah, not much to tell you about this. Just an atypical private screenings movie, put it that way. So... Anyway, I got nothing more to tell you about this movie. Like I said, it's not available on DVD anywhere that I know. This is the, uh, I burned a DVD-R from it at some homemade boxer. This is what the uh, VHS tape looks like, just like that. Love Angels. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'll leave a link down below to uh, the Amazon uh, VHS tape if it's listed on Amazon. Otherwise, you can, it does pop up on eBay periodically. You'll probably pay about 20, 25 bucks for it or so. This seems to be one of the rarer private screenings movies out there, so I'm glad I have it. But anyway, that's it. Check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments. It's called Love Angels. Watch it. Bye.